Finwiz is a really good website because they offer a lot of good free features for investors. And one of the ones we're going to look at is the screener tool, which is a pretty advanced stock screening tool. I've used a lot of free tools and also a lot of paid tools. And this one is definitely at the top of the list. As you can see, one of the big, uh, <coughs> big problems I have with the website is just the amount of advertisements that it has. So it can definitely slow the website down considerably, but the, the features of the screening tool is really useful and it, it should definitely be in any dividend investor's tool belt. So the first filter that you'll see here is just a basic description of a lot of common um, market criteria. So you can search by stock exchange, you can search by market cap, Obviously, as dividend investors, we're concerned about dividend yield. So you can search by a dividend, you can search by having parameters of the dividend yield. One complaint I would have is you can't really search between parameters. So you can't really search for dividend yield of, um, you know, between three and 6% or something like that. But it, it is a useful metric. So let's just set dividend yield at 3%, for instance, and it'll automatically update all the tickers here on the bottom when you select anything over here. So what, once you select the criteria up here, you can actually go into different tabs and select different data to screen by. If you look on the fundamental tab, and this is this is the tab where we'll use most of most of the uh, metrics. You'll see that they have a lot of valuation metrics on the side here. Obviously, price, price to earnings PE is a really good ratio to screen buy. What's really nice about Finwiz, if you hover over, <coughs> if you hover over the the uh, on the left here, it'll show you how they actually calculate all of these metrics. So this is how they calculate the PE ratio. Uh, this is how they calculate the current ratio. This is how they calculate the operating margin of the business. So price to earnings, let's just set that under 20. Another useful metric that you can screen by is by margins. And not a lot of stock screeners can do gross margin, operating margin, and net margin. So it's definitely very nice to be able to do that. So let's set the margin at positive greater than zero with dividend investing we obviously should be concerned about earnings growth because earnings are ultimately what drives higher dividend payments over time and what's really cool is they have a screening feature where you can screen by increase uh, the increase in earnings per share over the last five years so let's conservatively set that as over five percent growth So obviously you can see all the all the ads popping up. It's really annoying, but it is a free feature. So that's how they generate the revenue to keep the website running. It, it's very annoying, but I guess you just have to deal with it. And you can you can do the same thing with uh, sales growth. Sales growth over the last five years. The final thing we want to look at is uh, re return analysis and also leverage. So. Return on equity. Let's set that over 10% to be conservative. And then um, our leverage. Obviously, we don't want to be investing in any businesses that have a ton of debt on the balance sheet. So that's where the debt to equity ratio comes in handy. Let's do under 0 0.6. And then one last thing that we should probably set is the payout ratio. And this is just the dividend payout. Let's do under 40%. So obviously I entered a lot of criteria here into the stock screener, which is why there, it's only returning about nine results. Um, so that's something to keep it, to keep in mind. The more criteria that you enter into uh, the screener here, the less output that you'll have. The final tab here is just technical analysis. It's not as useful for um, 
screening dividend stocks. So it's not something I use too much, only in special situations. So the, the most, uh, most of the criteria that you're screened by will just be by the fundamental tab up here and the descriptive tab tab up here. So once you have a good handle of, of your script of your inputs, you can look at the outputs down here. Um, you can screen it by alphabetical order, uh, which is what it's doing right now. But what's really nice about FinWiz is you, they, it shows a lot of information about these stickers. So you can screen, you can flip through the tabs here and it'll show you a bunch of information. So if you go into the valuation tab, it'll tell you basic information about the stock, like the market cap, um, the valuation, price earnings, forward pr price earnings, price to book, and a lot of other metrics. If you click on the financial tab, you can search by a lot of the data we found up here. So like dividend yield, the return on assets, return on equity, the margin profile of the business. So it's, it's a really great tool, I mean, to, to have in your tool belt. The one complaint, the biggest complaint I would have about it is just the amount of advertisements on the website, but it is a very powerful free tool to screen for dividend stocks.